Hello and welcome to Dragon's Dogma 2. I wasn't going to get this game. I didn't really play much of the first one. And I decided on a whim I would play it. And I've been playing it, I'd say, for about four or five hours now. It's actually really good. I, it's clicking with me way more than the first one did. I'm in your debt. Much quicker, to be honest. It's very pretty. I am playing it on PC. And I'm a little bit ways into the main quest. I'm dealing with monster camps. And I don't know, man. I really like it so far. It's really good. There's some. There's been some really cool moments so far. And you could do some really crazy stuff. Like, really. For example, you can levitate. Which is crazy, man. Crazy. It's a to meet you. You've also got these Beastrin. Uh, this Beastrin type race Shall we see inside of the game. While we're here? So it's essentially a Khajiit. <laughs> but it's not. But I didn't expect it to have uh, beast people at all. I am playing a mage. However, that's the vocation I'm using. But you can change your vocation and use different vocations. You're not just tied to one. But so far I've only been dabbling in mage. I mean, for Christ's sake, I can levitate. If that isn't enough of a reason to do mage, I don't know. I didn't even know you could levitate, by the way. I only learned after you could. So, these are your pawns. These NPCs that are following me. It was a big part of Dragon Age 1. Not Dragon Age. Jesus. Dragon's Dogma 1. And they've returned in this game. And they're very cool. They do things like what you've just seen there, where they'll open chests for you and stuff. So, performance on the PC has been a, a little bit iffy so far. Uh, of course. It, and there's also, you know, the sly sneakage of DLC microtransactions, which were added after reviews for the game came out. Typical Capcom. I wasn't really shocked by it, to be honest, but hey. I didn't expect it, but I wasn't shocked. But hey, I suppose I'm just not going to buy them. But it does leave a bit of a sour taste in your mouth, you know? So. There is a lot of people on Steam playing this at the moment. The last time I checked the community hub, there was roughly, I'd say, around 200,000 people playing the game. Which is kind of crazy, to be honest. So, but that's just Steam numbers. That's not actual sales or anything. I God only knows what the actual sales of the game are. I'm sure we're bound to find out. Hyamel Euphony 2. These are basically like spell scrolls, but they're not scrolls. Oh man, there's a few of them in here. Wow. I haven't really had an opportunity to use them yet because I'm still learning all the spells. So that's been a bit of a learning process, to be honest. I'm I, again. I did not play a lot of the first one at all, man. Not at all. But this time round, I understand it way more than I did last time. You can pretty much mantle up on anything you see as well that has an edge. I say that, but then, you know, earlier I did try getting on, like, the branch of a tree. So, I suppose there is limits. <laughs> you can't jump on a tree. Well, not not any small ones that you, know, you can see. Maybe the game has, like, really big logs or trees later in the game. I mean, I haven't been across much of the map. But as you can see, it's quite big. The atmosphere is very nice. And I, I just find it very chill so far. I'm still teaching myself stuff or trying to utilize the tutorials the game has been giving me. Like, it took me a little bit to understand how exactly casting spells works. Because if you have never played it before and you turn it on, it, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. For example, right? I have this spell 
um, flagration, all right? And if you, you have to hold L1 and press the button on the right, and then it charges up with that circle until you have this. I didn't know what to do with this, so I kept holding. But what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to let go when it charges, and then you'll cast your spell. Which in this case is fire. I have another one, Levin, which will charge up. I let go. And you can do that. And some spells like Levin have follow up. So if you cast Levin, and then you let go of L1, and then you keep spamming one of the four buttons, you'll use stamina and you'll keep casting until you run out. Which is pretty cool, man. It's it's pretty cool. Uh, that's in the weapon wheel I have. That's what I've given myself so far for this vocation, skill wise, anyway. You can also high five your companions when you uh, win a battle. <laughs> 110% the most important part about this. Um, levitating for safe falls. I don't actually think it saves you. But then again, I have face planted myself every time I have dropped from somewhere high. So I could be wrong. You also have things like the little lantern and stuff here. Which is pretty handy. Pretty handy. This so we're on a we're on a three part main quest to cull monsters because we are actually the lost king of this place because we're arisen and it can only ever be one arisen at the time so the person that's on the throne at the moment is pretending to be arisen when they're not so they're making up stuff and that's not very nice I'll gather this it might be of use See, I'm, I'm kind of hoping to test for myself with Levitate Save My Fall. You can see your character start to roll forward when he drops. He will keep rolling forward, and if he rolls forward too much, he will literally just face plant the ground. I wasn't sure if that was an enemy or not. Port Crystals. Use of a Fairy Stone will instantly transport you to the location of a Port Crystal. Port crystals are permanent fixtures of cities and towns, but you may also place your own port crystals at destinations of your choice. You may have up to 10 port crystals placed at various locations throughout the world at any one time. Once placed, a port crystal can be recovered if you wish to move it somewhere else. Permanent port crystals in cities and towns must be interacted with at least once before they become available as fairy stone destinations. Wow. Haven't encountered one of these before yet, so as you can see... But I haven't encountered any, so I assume I can't do anything with it. Are we just stealing this guy's hard-earned meat? That's a real shame. Does he have any more loot in here? Yes, he does. He has much loot. Now, we're supposed to be in this local area. But I noticed there was this entrance button. So I'm kind of assuming this is where the main quest is. Oh, we've come to a dangerous place. Scaly beasts make this their den. We've been dispatched to cull them. A small force ventured inside, though I've seen neither hide nor hair of them since. Seems the battle is hard won. I'll not stop you if you wish to explore, but don't look for my aid if aught goes awry. I've noticed with playing this game there's a lot of cowardly people, man. There's a lot of people that don't want to help. Like, they really don't want to help at all. Watch, lest we be set upon from behind. Nord can threaten us if we watch each other's backs. Did I miss a chest from up there? It seems I did. I think I finished the quest. Did I? Or is there one more? No, there could be one more. No, there's one more. I need to get to Vernworth. Um. Actually, hopefully... This village has an ox cart. So there's these things in the game called ox carts. And they're essentially the fast travel of the game. Because the developer of Dragon's Dogma does not like fast travel. <laughs> and you will spend a vast majority of your time running around. These are rune stones that you can open up if you want to change your pawns and stuff. I'm, I found all three of mine walking the road, so they're all other players. Because you can use other players' bombs, so that's pretty cool. 
I'm really praying there is an ox cart here somewhere. Again, there could be something. Hey, slow your feet. You run too fast <laughs> for the likes of me. There could be to keep up. a fast travel in plain sight. But I haven't seen it. But from what I've picked up on the game, there isn't an obvious one other than the ox carts. Wait, can I use a boat? I haven't even considered trying that yet. No. From the outside? No. I guess not. Also, we can't swim. If you go into the water, you'll be absorbed by this weird-ass magical shit. Hmm. I actually don't think there is a... Oh, wait. Is that one? No, that's just the exit. That's just the exit. So, I need to go north and then go... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I wonder... Is there a way... I suppose you can see passing ox carts on the trail. Some of them will let you on, but the majority of the ones I've encountered don't let you on. I just love that you can levitate, man. And you can cast spells when you're in the air. I love this. This is great. I feel crazy powerful, dude. I did get a passive skill, actually, I can use. So, that charge up, you can speed it up if I hold our B. But it will consume more stamina. That could be a Do bit of a nuisance. Save a different pawns. One whom I served preferred to have bistrons for allies. Fascinating. The pawns as well, they constantly have things they want to tell you or things that will help you on your journey, but only if they have experienced it or understand it, it what it is you're seeking help on. Because you can give them commands in the bottom left with the D-pad. You can tell them what to do. So that's pretty great. God, I've got some distance to travel to get to this place, man. I don't mind, though. There's so much stuff along the road to do. I went from fighting a giant minotaur with four health bars to an ogre with two... ...to... I think I did one side quest along the way. Then you find loot along the way and stuff. I de Again, these random roaming people you see, I have... If they're not in a group, they're a pawn from a player. Without fail... Like, every single time I walk by a soul entity walking on this road, it is almost always them. Also, every time you get to a point where your stamina is running out, your character sounds like they're about to keel over and die. The handiness of Levitate, though, is it lets you get onto higher platforms, which we love. There is a limit to how high you can go, though. Unfortunately. I hear something below... Or above. What is that? Oh, bro. I don't want to... I'm getting my ass handed to me by everything so far. Different combinations of materials result in different the Minotaur, which had four health bars. I just about Hang got through there, it. I'm coming to assist. Oh, also, another cool thing with the game. I'll show you this. You can destroy bridges. Apparently, see, yeah, there we go. So, that's probably, I'm, I'm watching me fall off now and not be able to get back across, man. A hundred percent, that's what's gonna happen. There's no dodge or roll button for a mage, anyway. I don't know if any of the other vocations have one. That was well fought. They could do. There's no one standing who might say otherwise. Overconfidence is an enemy in and of itself. Let us instead strive to better ourselves with every battle. What's attacking us? Oh, I heard something flying and I was like, I bet that big thing's come after me, man. <laughs> it's pretty easy to passively get XP as well. Uh, I've only got like four or five hours in and I think I'm... What level am I now? I am currently level 13. 
I, I haven't had an option to pick a difficulty or anything either. So it might just be one difficulty. You can strafe a little bit when you're shooting spells. So that's kind of handy. Where are we? We're going north, are we? I wonder if I go... See, no, you should never go off the beaten path. But... Oh, wow. Oh my god, I made it. Let's go. Seekers tokens. There are 240 of these tokens scattered across the land. Hidden in all sorts of out of the way and unexpected places. Bring them to a guild hall and you will receive special rewards now and then as your collection progresses. You must leave no stone unturned nor corner of the world unexplored if you would complete your collection. Oh, I'd not have thought we'd find one here. Nice, nice, nice. Grows. Happy to hear, happy to hear. Oh, no. We run out of stamina quite a lot, man. Honest to God. I really hope that this isn't too... Oof, crap. I really hope this isn't too far off the beaten path. That I'm more hindering myself than anything. Oh, I'd say that was close to a face plant. I'd say that was close. Oh no. This was a terrible idea. <laughs> oh, sh shiza. You know what? I... I'm not holding anything. You can see you can give stuff to your you can give stuff to your companions. You can also combine ingredients to make uh elixirs and stuff. So that's pretty handy. I know I made arrows there and, and I probably shouldn't, but you know what man, if I do end up using a different vocation, it might be decent. I didn't realize you could make dried meat. That's actually probably pretty handy. That's probably pretty handy, man, to be honest. Hmm. What am I holding a lot of? Oh, yeah, these golden trove beetles will increase your total carrying capacity. So it seems to be permanent. It's 0.15 kg pretty handy I'm going to oh they're too far away from me so as long as you're not over in encumbered you can junk or junk you can jump <laughs> your your absolute saving grace in this game though are these campfires Are these campfires? Oh. Turn on my lantern, man. Oh, we're dual them. casting. Let's go. That's not a thing, by the way. I, I just said it because I thought it was cool the two of us were doing the same thing. Opening the chest. Ah, no, 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 no. I have too much stuff. Can I? Can I give armor from in my inventory?
Why does he have two of the same bow? Oh, he can't wear it because of his uh, vocation. I don't think, anyway. Oh, something else you can do is you can pick up most stuff you come across like this and then you can throw them at people and that even includes people <laughs> which is so funny to do Oh man, my guy's getting his exercise in. Ooh, that was a close one. This one's shaking. Ah, they should be able to finish him off. All the materials don't really weigh a whole lot, this so my first time clapping eyes on such an item. I it's not nearly as bad. Mamma mia. Okay, who can I give this to? Who will actually wear it? Shu is a th a rogue. Ah, she can't. Oh no, she was a wizard. Oh, Shadow is... Oh my god, I thought Shadow... Okay. No, she can't wear it either. I wonder what that red symbol means. I'm actually not entirely sure myself. To be quite frank. You're too much, Master. Pray lighten your pack. I'm always you holding too much. Carrying the burdens of my companions. These exclamation marks are things that I, I believe are marked by your companions. You can also break these towers down, which I think is cool. So what are they showing an exclamation mark for here? Oh my god. Shadow's going ham. Was this ox cart assailed? It's in a dreadful state. Wrought by the hands of brigands. Oh. The claws of monsters. You don't want to be out night time either. Be too careful. Night time can be treacherous. Tread carefully. There is no telling what might lurk within. Cool. You can do a few things at your camp. You can cook food, rest. I've a feeling fortune cook. favor us this day. Come. We've much to be getting on with. A new day. A new perspective. Oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> this is what I meant by the brine, man. That's what it's called. This shit will suck you under. And you ain't coming back, bro. Lucky you us. ain't coming That's back. Now then. Right, which direction am I supposed to go again? Behind me. Can I, yeah, I can. Can I get back up this way? I wonder, could I do some climbing? This is where we're gonna pray levitate comes in handy. This party is fit for adventure. Our strengths complement mm, each other. Well. No challenges beyond no. our combined might. 
I don't think so. Do I have any of them crystal items that can travel me somewhere? I don't think I do. I don't even think I've picked up one yet, to be honest. I knew it to be so. See, I, this is what I mean. I do not think levitate uh, stops you from face planting the ground, man. Enemy. I shouldn't like to take on any oh, have we already fought this guy? Oh yeah, this was the one I ran away from. Oh, I don't think my bolt is hard in it because I think the material of it is water. Yeah. I didn't realize that until now. Oh, bro, that's kind of crazy. There's another... There are useful ingredients to be gathered here, I'll wager. Shall we Ooh. see if there's ought to be found? Well, there's a lot of these eggs in here. Oh crap. Oh I wasn't paying attention. Run. This ability here makes it so I can take three auto attacks. Flame on. You can also grab creatures and knock them down if they stagger. Nope, he's dead. I like to believe we're doing some form of damage. Like some small insignificant amount. I'll collect that. You needn't trouble yourself. Oh, there's an enemy up there, I think. Oh no, it's uh, one of those places you can pick up materials from. Oh, I finished my yeah, pawns have quests, but I finished it and now I'm over in Cumbered. In Cucumbered. I'm just going to give Shu a load of stuff, man. She seems to be able to carry my burden. What is actually weighing me down, though? There's something I'm holding, and it's nothing I have here, because this stuff is menial. All I have is my one outfit. Okay, that's fine. I'll discard that. Still very heavy. Give Shu my apples. I'll discard this aged meat. This ripened princess harspud. This rotten harspud. We've got fish. Hmm, maybe it's all the potions. See, I have a feeling it's the books. Because I'm hoarding a load of spells. Oh yeah, each one of these is worth point twenty. What if I start giving these to shoe? Even if I could just get myself until we get to a town. Yeah, just heavy. Because you move slower. The higher your status is. Bro, if you just didn't have a panic attack every time. You will have to take the long way around north. What we can only hope for now is that we come across an ox cart. And that that will lead us on the right path. Yon chest appears to be beyond our reach. Is there no way to reach it? There could be. I'd say we can get up through here. Am I bothered though? No. Yeah, because I'm actually quite... No. <laughs> How am I getting up here, bro? 
You crazy. You think I'm getting up here, dude. Bandits. Got in. Man shooting firecrackers at me. Nice. Do I have a reward? I'll carefully conserve my strength and endeavor to survive every battle by way of sound strategy and defensive tactics. No, oh, he's just a pawn. Trickery at every corner, my friends. I already cleared this bandit camp, actually. Destroyed from the other side. I am sorely disappointed. That is such a shame. I'm going to pick up this boulder and throw it at this deer. No, I missed. <laughs> no, wolf. Help. Very welcome, friends. Another statue. Ought within me yearns to climb it. I can foresee no reason not to go see it up close. Every time we walk by here, I have no idea what they're talking about. Oh, there it is up there, bro. That's so far up. Not a hope. I'm going this way. Okay. We're not... Oh, we're getting there. Do I want to make a stop in Vernworth on my way, though? Probably. I have so much stuff hoarded across the four characters. I would have preferred not to have to fight so soon. But at least I know I'm... Ba -ba -ba -ba. Levitate cast. Look at this. <laughs> Absolutely majestic. Sweet. Yeah, these harpies sing and put you to sleep. Level 14 though, man. That's pretty cool. We're coming up on 20. I wonder what the max level in this game is, actually. It is pleasantly cool here. What with the canopy overhead. I don't have a notion, though. Can I... Is food just for healing? Hmm... Uh. Got loads of stuff, man, that are aged or. See, when am I ever going to use these? I'm supposed to make more potions. Can't make any more at the moment. Be on your guard. A monster might be stalking us as we speak. You have my support. I haven't bothered learning anything yet. Oh, ox cart. Hopefully I can use... Oh! Oh, crap! <laughs> Bro! That was terrifying! This ox cart's bound for the checkpoint rest tank. I'll not take you anywhere till I've had my due. No. I need one... I need one that's going this way. 
This is what I mean, man. They're kind of inconvenient if you don't want to be walking these long distances. Trying to pick me up again, bro. I swear to God. There's another one going that way. See, there's so many caves. Oh. And other things to go to. Now, I haven't upgraded my staff since I was, like, level 5. I haven't enchanted it or anything. I probably should do that because I'm kind of noticing if it's not a goblin. I'm not really noticing my auto attacks anymore. Every time I see those bones on the ground you can pick from, I think of Monster Hunter World and the sheer amount of times you stop to pick up materials from bones. It's crazy, man. I just grab these because eventually I make potions. Whether I use them or not now, that's a different story. <laughs> that's a different story now. Cross that bridge to get to the town. Oh. Double magic cast. Let's go. You must regain your footing. They didn't really have that many goodies, man. Oh, this is the nuisance about not being able to, to be found here. swim. Let us ponder how best to proceed. Because you can only levitate so far. There's another one of those coins. And so you have to walk all the way to a bridge. Again, there's enemies constantly. And they respawn a lot as well. Maybe that second ox cart I seen would have brought me to Vern Vernum or Vernob or whatever it's called, this place. It might have. No! Levitate. Oh, this dude! This guy looks like an orc! Burn him! Sweet! Oh, he doesn't have any examine. Anything up here? Ingredients are plentiful hereabouts. No harm in picking a few. Oh. Can I actually Can I make it across doing this? <laughs> oh bro, that would be so cool. That would be so cool. Or will I... Or will I die? No! I only pay... I, I literally only discovered that. That seems like such a waste, man. Such a waste, but oh well. <laughs> Tell is... Vermund was once a bistroom kingdom. Fascinating. Indeed. Hello, friend. They wave at me. It is not widely known among the common folk. This is definitely where... Yeah, it is. So far, the landscape and city and stuff is really cool, man. Now, ah, you've returned. Oh, I forgot I was doing this quest. On the journey to Mel. I delivered the letter. Splendid. You've been an immense help, I must say. The cart reached its destination safe and sound, 
And from the tell of it, you even rid the road of a few monsters. <laughs> You've certainly earned a reward, my friend. Here you are. Ox carts seem a convenient choice for longer journeys. I got another no miner's hosen. I already had a miner's hosen. That's it. I've had enough. Clear off. And don't come back till you're ready to do business properly. Who you talking but to? But I got the coin. I swear it. I simply oh, just... This guy. Where is it then, eh? Bring the coin. All of it. Or I'll call the sentinels on you again. Oh, clear. Hmm? Oh, tis you. You're the good sir who aided me in now. I delivered her a plant she Thank wanted. Thank you again, sir. You don't know how grateful I am to you. You're very welcome. I'm getting rewarded left, right, and center here, man. There's left, right, and center. After you, Arisen. I've all manner of arms for sale. Right now, it's time to get rid of stuff. Come, have yourself a look. Wait, first, we've got twenty-nine thousand gold. Does he have more staffs? He does. He has anchor to heaven. I don't. He has nothing that I can use to make it better, or a better staff. What I'll try and do though is enhance. Now I haven't done this yet, so I'm gonna try this out. Oh right, I see. It says now what it needs at the bottom. The greenish slime. I've only fought one of them so far. There, this big glob thing that I found in a river. I'm gonna set all this stuff, man. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna st stop picking up random things. Wait, actually, no, I, I don't care about the drenched one or that. Status effect fixes. I, I never bother with. I probably shouldn't. I maybe I will eventually, but right now. I don't seem too much. These restore health, so they're decent. Um, I'll keep that, because that seems good. So does that defense one. Oh, that's cool. I don't want it, though. I'm not using an archer yet. I'm going to get rid of these, man. I'm sure they're cool, but they're worth a lot of gold. Alright. I can probably get rid of everything these guys have. I'm going to keep one of them. I'm going to keep the ore. The gold. Okay, I'll keep all that. Okay, that's done, and then my last person. Keep that healing item. God, we are storing so many books, man. What the heck? Can I enhance... Can I buy a better bow for him, actually? I have plenty of money here, so... Ooh, this does way more. That does even more... 10,000. Fuck it. Okay, that's him sorted. She's using... Um, is that an iron sword? No. How do I compare? I'll just see what does more damage. Cutlass. 5,650. I'll give it to her, yeah. Yeah, I don't mind. I don't think I'll be dismissing these guys for a wee while anyway, so... I don't think it's an issue. Um, and money does not seem to be that difficult to get anyway. 
That's fine again. And then the last one is Shu. Shu needs a better staff. Gotta buy Oh man, this person who's getting their palm back, they're gonna love me. They're gonna love me, bro, I'm telling you. I'm telling you, man. They're gonna love me. They're gonna get all this free equipment for nothing. For nothing, bro. You can't wear that, so it doesn't matter anyway. Sell that. Wait, hold on. Did I get... No. Get rid of that. Because anything that's not showing is stuff that they're... They're not wearing the stuff that's not showing anyway. Alright. Sweet. Not at all, my friend. Not at all. These... Po man, people popping in as well. That's another issue I'm having with the game, as you can see. So, that's a little annoying. See, I don't know what's off here to the right. I feel like if I take an ox card, it's a terrible idea. Because this only takes you to the major settlements and stuff. I want to see where they're going. What did he say his name was again? The lad's in Bournemouth now. Sit down. Say the word and he'll join in at a moment's notice. Say, you look experienced. You should talk to the lad. I'm sure he'll be glad of a bit of guidance. Go away. This ox cart's bound for Mel. I'll need to see some coin before I let you on. If I Have I been to Melv? I don't know if I've actually been there. Vernward, Harv. No, I'll. I'll. A distant one. Oh. Travel by ox cart might be worth considering. Walking everywhere is certainly tiring. No, we'll have to walk there, man. It does get a little tiring. I actually will not deny that. I think it does. You have to travel so much, man. What hair? Levitate. It's kind of funny how they look, man. I'll collect that. You needn't trouble yourself. See, it doesn't matter if I sell all my food, because these fuckers will pick up every potato in sight, man. I swear to God. Get some hefty meat off these boys, man. If I could kill them fast. Although, we all have better equipment now. You know? We've all got better we equipment. I'm sure we'll find a purpose for it in due time. I find as well that if you hold A the second time, you will levitate even higher, but there's still a limit. These back roads seem to be leading us to our destination. Can I get through here? No. Probably could climb it if I tried. Oh. Wait. Wait. Oh my god, bro. We did it. Oh, crap. <laughs> well, we survived. So that's okay. But we lost some of our max health. Oh, there's a runestone here. Can I examine? Sweet. Alright guys. I think I'll make a save here. But I'll see you guys later.